So uh, my argument was most people are reasonable, but when you get this huge rewiring of social media, which begins in 2009 with the like button and the and the retweet button, um, and it really reaches fruition by 2014, 2013, 2014, you get threaded comments. You get now everywhere you go, it's not just comment on this post, it's comment on the comments on the post. So now you get people fighting and arguing within the comments. Uh, that's when I believe the Tower of Babel fell, 2014. And, um, um, and so, you ask, how could we how could we get a more humane system? Um, well, if what social media did in those years, I believe, is it super empowered the far right, the far left um, trolls, who are mo almost all men who, who have personality disorder, um, and Russian agents or other foreign intelligence agents. Those four groups. It was like. You know, it was like Mark Zuckerberg and and uh, you know what's his name from Twitter. It was as though they said, "Here, how about you guys get a hundred x more influence? Let's just try it." Okay, you get a hundred x more influence, and then what happens? The middle eighty percent, they're like, "This is like I hate this. Like I don't want to be here." And so you know, most people don't speak up. Um, so I believe what happened wasn't that humanity went insane or Americans went insane. Um, it was that a country of overwhelmingly sane people suddenly found the dynamics altered within the space of just a few years, just a few years. Twitter was even a nice place when I first got on it, like 2009 or 10, whatever. Um, in just a few years, the, it, the dynamics were altered so that now it's just nasty. And it's that nastiness that's made it easy for a single person who's upset to, you know, force a professor to be fired, to cause embarrassment to a university, whatever it is. This is what's driven us insane. This is what I call structural stupidity. 